podcasting from Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. Again, I would like to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you're choosing to listen to this. I greatly appreciate all the support and all the listens. Well, we're going to get right into it this morning here. Matters matter. Manners matter. Going straight into statistics that I got here because I'm seeing always a trend from the years I've been here on this earth. Things have been changing and a lot of things have not been changing for the better. This is taken from www.psychcentral.com. 74% of Americans believe that we have become more rude as a nation. 34% of people admit to using profanity in public. Well, I think it's more than that, but then again, unfortunately, or fortunately, I live in Brooklyn, New York, in New York City, which is rated as the number one rudest and number one as the dirtiest city in America. So I'm probably more prone to hear these things much more than other parts of the country in this beautiful United States of America. Well, as I said in the title, Manners Matter, just a really quick synopsis, real quick snapshot of what Americans feel we're at right now as far as being rude and 74 percent of people believe that we've got more rude now i don't think that happens overnight and i know usually it's not just a straight generational thing even though effects happen and trickle down through generations we have to understand it comes from all standards i'm always talking about standards being humble having a proper approach as you all know from my past podcast, I always say because we don't look to a proper standard. Uh, that is Elohim, Yeshua, to guide us. All the answers are there, but we just continually choose to refuse to hold on to these things and actually apply them in our lives. Now, again, for the people in YouTube land, you could see I'm in front of a beautiful mural here. Uh, it has a little bit of a COVID stuff going on. It has Black Lives Matter and the whole thing that's going topsy-turvy right now in 2020 in America. So we know that people are just really tired of police brutality. People are really tired of racial disparity. Um, people are just tired of the economic wage gap and so much things and, and people are just accepting things that were never accepted before as the norm. So case in point, when you have a people that continuously can't even get manners right, get more rude, that means people are going to be more prone to just do what they want to do. When you have people who are more prone to do what they want to do, they're going to need more policing, right? That just goes hand in hand. Because apparently people have learned to not police themselves more and more. And then what's going to happen? More policing is going to happen. Over-policing is going to happen. And then you have to think about it from this aspect. From the same culture and the same mindset that is producing these same people that 74% of Americans think have got a more rude the same people in that culture are now putting on a badge and a uniform and a gun. It's not like we import policemen from a pristine planet somewhere where they don't know anything about being lawless or using profanity or or lying or anything that we, again, have accepted. No. These are from the same ilk of people that have become more rude, that curse a lot more, that are prone to steal a lot more, to accept many things that are of a degraded standard and mindset. So, of course, now when people act like this they need more policing but then you're getting the police force from the same type of people in that and then the cycle the vicious and malicious cycle continues more cops may start getting out of pocket more people are going to be coming out of pocket and then it's just going to be never any cycle with like you know we don't care about the police we don't care about the rules okay no problem we're going to clamp down more do you see where i'm going with this it, it makes perfect sense the problem is we don't wish to look at this as that. We want to pretty much 
do what we want and have no consequences. That's basically what we're doing here, America. This is what basically what we're doing here, Brooklyn, New York. This is what we're doing the world all over. We have to understand there are consequences to actions. So another another example I like to use is I came across a post on Instagram, not by me, so someone, I don't remember who, and it was a, a girl playing a Nicki Minaj song for her older mother. And the mother was like, you know, I hope it's not going to be anything, you know, X-rated or cursing about it. And it's Nicki Minaj. We already know where that's going. And the mother's face was like, you know, in shock. She's like, turn it off. Turn it off. And I totally understand. I get it. Because she was talking about doing all types of stuff. It was like, okay, it's Nicki. But then when I looked in the comments, because, you know, I found it funny. But at the same time, I totally understand and get it. But the comments were another clear indicator to me like, yo, we, we just lost it, man. We accept way too much things because in the comment section, people were actually kind of bashing the mother for having the nerve and audacity to feel offended with the curse words and the profane things that she was saying to do to people. And I'm like, where are we where our standards are that low where people the straight want to bash you for actually wanting to be better, to think better, to think purer? When you say curse words, again, the word curse is a serious thing. We have taken that clean out of context and we don't take it as seriously as we should. We clearly do not utilize our words, our power given to us from our creator Elohim to create. Yes, he spoke things into existence. We speak things into existence. So we are accepting trash out of our mouth what's gonna happen as you can see through the mural we now have to have protests about black lives matter when we shouldn't even have to worry about disparity we shouldn't have to worry about people being poor we shouldn't have to worry about people being homeless we shouldn't have to worry about people dying through all these causes and methods right now we would never have fear but it all starts with manners you have to be humble again we have all the answers to all of our questions it's in the book the answers were always given to us. We just choose to refuse to use it. Anyways, I hope I spark thought. It's a quick one today. I can hopefully spark you to think more, to look at the little things that we always overlook. And if you want to listen to any more of my content, you can go to my website, which is www.brooklynbaritone.com. You could also check me out and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I am also on Instagram and I am on Facebook. You can check me out on LinkedIn as well under Corey Ashley. And you can check my podcast out on the Google Play Store and the Apple iTunes Play Store. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this beautiful, beautiful morning here. I have breath in my body and I'm going to continue to enjoy it and do what I got to do. Love you all. Stay blessed. Walk good. You will hear from me next week.